Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. The first one is kind of a sad one. DJI officially ends the Phantom line. We have SciFly releasing a new drone, the, actually two drones, the Q250 and the Q12. Uh, we have more leaks coming out of the DJI Mavic 4. And then finally, researchers develop a flying squirrel drone that has foldable wings. Let's get to it. And first up this week, it's the end of an era for one of the most iconic drone series ever. Uh, DJI has officially announced the retirement of its Phantom 4 Pro and the Phantom 4 Advanced drones. Uh, according to a recent update on the DJI support page, this marks the final chapter for the entire Phantom lineup, uh, a series that really has defined aerial photography, mapping, and so many more activities for so many of us uh, when it first came out. Uh, the Phantom was the drone that introduced many pilots, myself included, to uh, quality aerial imaging, to stable flights, and many more things that we didn't have before. Uh, it set the standard for prosumer drones for years, and I mean it, for years. It's a bit sad to see the Phantom lineup go, but uh, technology marches on, I guess. Uh, we've seen DJI focus heavily on the Mavic and the Air and the Mini series with that new form factor, uh, both for consumer and prosumers and the Matrice series also for the enterprise side. So while the Phantom might be taking its final flight into the sunset, uh, its legacy in shaping our drone industry is undeniable. Uh, pour one out for the Phantom tonight and uh, hopefully we can still see some of them flying around for a long time to come. Next up, SciFly released the Q12, which is a medium-sized drone, medium-sized, it's actually pretty large, and long endurance, and I mean that term, you'll see why. Uh, the Q12 offers two hours of continuous hover, two hours of continuous hover, uh, three hours of forward flight, and then a 90 mile range while carrying a 10 pound payload. Uh, SciFly also released the Q250, which is a heavy lift drone with a 200 pound payload and then 100 minutes of endurance. Uh, both of these look actually pretty cool and uh, probably have the best flight time that we have seen of any multi-rotor to date. Uh, also, both of these drones are NDA compliant, uh, making them a possible replacement for those entities that are required to uh, use compliant drones. Specifics on the battery, the connection link, and the available payloads are not currently available, but I'm sure we'll see uh, more information come out, so we'll let you know if we hear more from uh, SciFly. Now for another DJI story, the rumor mill is churning again, this time for the potential DJI Mavic 4. Uh, according to Jasper Allen, the Mavic 4 is becoming, in his words, the most leaked drone. That's uh, actually saying a lot from all the leaks that we see every time a new DJI drone comes out. Uh, recent reports suggest leaked promotional images, uh, potential pricing details, and even photos of the retail boxes that have surfaced online. Uh, now this obviously should all be taken with a grain of salt, they're just leaks. But uh, one particular interesting tidbit is the mention of a possible new controller, the RC Pro 2, uh, which might feature a vertical screen. Now, vertical screen could be interesting for many different reasons, but uh, how the information is gonna get displayed may be better for certain types of flights, uh, including social media flights, right, that you would do with the vertical sensor uh, or the vertical uh, rotation of the camera. Uh, who knows, really, at this stage. But along with all these leaks, there's also a list of supposedly canceled features, uh, including no ProRes, no electronic ND uh, filter, which is sad because I was kind of excited about this, and then no RC track, uh, which is the, uh, the, the puck that you would have uh, to uh, track the flight. The frequency of these leaks suggests potentially, maybe, something imminent that is brewing and, and a, and a soon-to-be-released new drone. Uh, I think it's already been delayed. We can probably take guesses as to why, but hopefully we see that thing uh, hitting the shelf pretty soon. And then last up this week, we have a cool research story out of South Korea. Uh, researchers out of Pohang University of Science and Technology, or POSTEC, I guess is the short for it, uh, have developed a drone that is inspired by flying squirrels. This isn't your typical quadcopter. It actually features foldable wings that are uh, designed to give it uh, significantly more agility and then uh, the ability to break and make sharp turns in midair. Now, you know how quadcopters can uh, feel a little bit floaty sometimes when they come to stop. Uh, the idea here is to use these foldable wings to deploy rapidly and act like air brakes, uh, allowing the drone to make a much quicker deceleration than the propellers alone can manage. Now, this mimics how flying squirrels use their membranes in order to glide and to maneuver, uh, or the ornithopter in Dune also 
came to my mind. Uh, <laughs> while it's still in the research phase, this kind of bio-inspired design is actually quite fascinating, I think. Uh, it pushes the boundaries beyond the standard drone configuration that we've seen for so many years and could potentially lead to drones that can navigate complex environments much more effectively. All right, and this is all we have for you this week. Join us later for a happy hour in the community. We also have the live Q&A on Monday and then post-flight uh, on Monday as well in the premium community. Have a good week and don't be that guy. Mm -hmm.